So this is it, this is the start of the 103 mile Arctic Circle Trail. Um, I've got a 70 litre Osprey backpack swinging at about, oh, just tilt it there, you can see that. Uh, about 20 kg. So it's definitely heavy, but at the same time, it's quite stable. Uh, and I think that's gonna be the main challenge is just uh, the fitness level with the rucksack on the back. In the rucksack, all sorts of goodies. Uh, I've got some freeze dried meals, couscous, chocolate. I've got a little bit of whiskey as well, but don't tell anyone. wanted to point out that so far the hike has been pretty easy in terms of following the trail because if I just pan the camera around you can see these antlers there of uh what do you think Agnieszka is it oh, an ox it's, it's reindeer. reindeer there we go so about every couple of hundred meters or so we've been spotting these which has uh, been helping us on our way so we have ended the first day and I turned my back Woo! and suddenly three of the group have already decided to jump in. These are the new Arctic creatures. <laughs> How does it feel guys? Is it cold? No, it's, no, it's like hot springs in here. A lot of hot springs, yeah, sure, sure it is. Well, it's the end of day one and things have taken a turn for the worse. Um, somewhere along the line, uh, I've left poles for the tent might be Copenhagen, might be somewhere in Greenland, but it's certainly not anywhere near where my rucksack is at the moment. So we are uh, tentless. But the highlight for the day, I think for me, is the fact that my camping buddy, Anwin, has taken the news incredibly well with a lot of style. Day two on the Arctic Circle Trail hike. Still feeling very guilty about the pole situation with the tent. Uh, the man who hiked the world is the man who forgot his tent poles around the world. It is somewhere, those poles are somewhere between Greenland and Denmark. I don't know where. Uh, they might have even fallen out of my rucksack. So I feel really guilty because I stitched up my camping pal. Uh, but she's taking it really well. Let's have a look at the scenery right now. A um, little bit Scottish, uh, reminiscent of the western part of Scotland. It's quite pretty actually. Well, who would believe this? We've got a beach in Greenland, yeah. And we've got some of the group. Crazy guys have gone in for a swim. This is incredible. Exactly. Who knows? In fact, if you think about it, we're in an all-inclusive holiday here. We've got, we've got as much food as we want. <laughs> we, can, we can go wherever we want. Apart, apart from uh, myself and Anwin, of course. But <laughs> So we've arrived at hut number two, Katifik. So here I am. I'm going to have a... Ah! <laughs> not yet, not yet. Right. No, not, not just yet. No, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, okay. alright. So I'm going to try Anwin's gadget of the year, the portable shower. Peter. Oh, one, two, three. Actually, that's quite... Ah! <laughs> But to add a bit of style, I'm going to use some molten brown just to jazz it up a bit and feel like a millionaire. There we go. That's not bad. Actually, once you get used to it. Oh, sole mio! It's like being at home. This is great. A few of the group have gone. They have found canoes and they have canoed away 
So I'm not sure whether I'll see some of those people again. Um, they're heading up further on the trail. And I like to come out to uh, these kind of frontier places and, uh, and do something quite challenging. And it's been quite challenging so far. Um, carrying 20 Ks on my back, it's not been easy. Um, although I have to say uh, it's more like 19 Ks because the tent poles are missing. Got just over there actually in the distance and it's right on the lake um, we're going to have chicken tikka masala tonight which could be uh, the most northerly curry on the planet because the latitude here is in the 60s so i'm not sure who else is having a curry tonight on the planet that's more north than us